Hello there, this is Hans Forschner with Nefkin Engineering. This is a short video in regards to HASP driver issues. We regularly get calls from clients uh, using Insole, Soundplan, DBC, that the HASP key is not recognized or is not working. And there could be multiple issues. One issue could be related to Windows updates services are turned off and uh, not turned on after the update is completed. So the first check is to open up the task manager and look under services and there you should see the HASP LMS, the HASP license manager should be running. If it's not running, right click on the status and turn on or start the service. This service should be set to automatically start during the Windows startup. Make sure that it's set up like that. If that is running, uh, then the other possibility is that the driver is corrupted. And in that case, we may need to uninstall and reinstall the driver. In the comment section of this video, you will see a link to a installation package that was provided by Soundplan. You can see it here under the properties. The installation is called HASP D inst SP8. It is a uh, installation package that was provided for version 8 that in Soundplan these installation package will work with Insole and also with DBC. It includes, in addition to the general HASP drivers, some additional libraries for provisional or soft licenses, and they are all included. Now, this is a low-level installation package that needs to be executed from the command prompt. To run the installation, please open up the command prompt drag in the installation and then use the following three parameters dash fr dash kp dash purge and execute click on enter the installation purges any previous drivers click ok at this point i would recommend to reboot your system so with that, no old drivers that may be in memory are basically removed from your system. And after you reboot, you complete the installation, drag in the, the installation, and then use dash install to install the new package. After this is completed, you will get a prompt that the installation was successful. We click OK. And we can check if the driver is running again under the task manager. And then also we can go into the Sentinel admin control center and the local host 1947. We can look at the sentinel keys. I have two, one on my system, one on the server, and then also a soft license admin mode. That is all what was installed and found. If you have problems with the server, that it doesn't see the server key, license key, Make sure on the configuration you have access to remote license manager active. So all the free check marks and the IP address of the system that has the key. If you have the name of the computer, in this case it would be master, then enter in the IP or the name of the computer that has the key and submit 
the changes. I think this concludes the PASP driver issue uh, video. Again, check your task manager. If that is not working, reinstall, uninstall and reinstall the driver. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out. Thank you.